All right, we're going to continue looking at titrations. So we have a solution of a known concentration, which is a base, and we have a solution of an unknown concentration, which is my acid, and we're combining them to determine what the concentration is of the unknown, and in this case, what my percent purity is. But let's start by just reading this question. A 3.4786 gram sample of impure sodium hydrosulfate is diluted to 250 mils. A 25 mil sample of the solution is titrated with 26.77 mils of 0.0997 molarity sodium hydroxide. What is the percent purity of the sodium hydrosulfate? All right, this is a good place to pause if you want to write down the question and just to think about some of my um, knowns and unknown variables that would be present in the question. And I'm going to make a list right now. All right, so I'm just going to push this off to the side. So I have a mass of impure sodium hydrosulfate. All right, so I have my mass of sodium hydrosulfate. And this is equal to 3.4786 grams. I also know what the volume is. It's diluted to 20, 250 mils. So that's my volume of sodium hydrosulfate, 250 mils. I have a, a 25.00 mil sample of the solution is titrated with 26.77 mils of sodium hydroxide. And so I'm, I'm taking 25 mils of this and then I'm diluting it, uh, or then I'm combining that with, um, with my titrant, with my sodium hydroxide. All right, so out of this, I'm taking 25 mils. Um, and I also have a concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is 0 0.09974 molarity. And in this known solution, I have a volume of 26.77 mils. All right, what I'm looking for, however, is my percent purity of my solution. And this is what we're gonna be looking for in this question. Now, when I, when I have this much information, this is a lot of information in one question. So we need to make a uh, kind of a plan of attack. So in order to find out what my percent purity is, and the percent purity of the sodium hydrosulfate, what I need to determine then is what's the number of moles that is present. So the number of moles that was used to actually neutralize my sodium hydroxide. And that's what we're trying to solve. So if we make a, a plan of attack, the first thing we want to do is find the number of moles of my known solution. And right now you might be wondering what the known solution is. Well, if I look at what I have, I have a volume of sodium hydroxide and I also have a concentration. So I can find the number of moles of this, of, of uh, this species here. Number two, I wanna find, after I find the moles of my known solution, I wanna find the concentration of the unknown solution. My unknown solution is my sodium hydrosulfate. And there's gonna be two concentrations that I, that I wanna determine. The first one is gonna be the actual concentration. And the second is my expected concentration, right? Because remember, we're looking for my percent purity. And this is the last thing we're gonna be looking for, but my percent purity is equal to the actual divided by the expected, so what we actually found in doing the lab, divided by what we expected by the theoretical amount times 100%. This is gonna give me my percent purity. So let's begin with finding the number of moles of our known solution. So I'm looking for the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So I take my sodium hydroxide concentration, 
which is equal to 0 0.09974 molarity. Remember, we can express this in millimoles per milliliter. This is moles per liter, but it's also equal to millimoles per milliliter. We can do this just so we don't have to keep um, converting between mils and liters. So if I'm starting off with 0 0.09974 millimoles per one milliliter, I want to end up with the number of moles here. So I'm going to multiply by the volume of that solution, which was 26.77 mils. So times 26.77 mils. When we punch this into our calculator, I can answer of 2.67 millimoles. I'm going to store this answer just in case I want to use it later. So from here, Remember, this is the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, if we look at the ratio of sodium hydroxide and compare that to my ratio, the molar ratio of my, so, my sodium hydrosulfate, we have a one-to-one -one ratio with our hydroxide ions to our hydronium ions, which means that this amount of sodium hydroxide is going to be equal to the number of moles of my sodium hydrosulfate because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And so I know that if I want to calculate the concentration, so number two, find the concentration of sodium hydrosulfate, I can just use the number of moles that I got in this in the previous question. So 2.67 millimoles divided by my volume of my sodium hydrosulfate, 25.0 mils, divided by 25 gives me 0 0.1068. So 0 0.1068, and that's millimoles per mil which is equal to my molarity. And this is the actual concentration. So this, this is what we found experimentally. So we found this, this experimental value. And what we got to then do is plug this experimental value into my expected value. So the expected value, how do we determine what that's going to be? Well, I have my sodium hydrosulfate. And I'm, I know that I'm putting 3.4768 or 786 grams, sorry, in 250 mils of water or 0 0.25 liters of water. If I multiply this by my molar mass, I'll find out what my moles per liter is actually. So for every one mole of sodium hydrosulfate, I have 120.1 grams of it. So 3.4786 divided by 0.25 divided by 120.1 gives me 0 0.1158 and that's molarity. If we plug, and this is my my expected amounts. That's my expected concentration right here. To determine the percent purity, we use our formula actual over expected and we multiply that by 100%. Which means I'm going to be going 0 0.1068 divided by 0 0.1158 And I get about 92.18% pure. And 
that's my final answer. So when I carry out this, uh, this titration, the percentage purity from the equation is going to be 92.18% pure. So that's the purity of my sodium hydrosulfate at the end.